Hey, do you have a late model Dodge truck and you're experiencing a code PO442 and or code PO456? Watch this quick video and I'm gonna help keep you on the road. Okay, I got a quick tip here and we're not gonna be doing a comprehensive test of the EVAP system. I'm just gonna show you a common problem that we're finding quite often. Uh, actually, the most common problem we're seeing uh, when it comes to these codes, PO442, PO456. And I'm gonna say your model ranging between 03 and 08, just kind of loosely, uh, and pretty specific to Dodge Ram trucks um, with the uh, gas engine, uh, I should say. Uh, and so anyway, uh, we're not gonna dive into the smoke leak detector or any of that business. I'm just gonna go right to uh, the most common failure we've seen. There's, there's actually two things that are quite common. Uh, basically one, a rotted out hose to the EVAP system and uh, secondarily uh, the NVLD or nat natural vacuum leak detection pump, uh, which is a, a, a valve that tests the, the integrity of the EVAP system. Those two problems are most common and uh, this particular truck has uh, got one of them and I'm gonna show you how to pinpoint that. Okay, this is an 03 Ram 1500 with the 5.7 and uh, it has both of those codes. And uh, I'm gonna raise it up and show you something underneath. But first I'll just say, any EVAP code that you ever get, um, probably the first thing to check is your fuel cap. Um, regardless of if you have a scan tool and you can monitor uh, the EVAP system and do tests on it, uh, it's definitely the first place to go is check your cap. This one's an aftermarket cap, which uh, um, I much rather see an OE cap, um, but I believe they've replaced this just to try to address this issue, and that didn't work. Uh, this cap sealing properly, um, so that's not the issue, but it's something to look at first off. If you do have any EVAP code, that's where you so want to again, go. Like I said, I'm not doing a comprehensive video about all the EVAP systems and the potential causes. Um, these trucks have common issues with rust affecting the fuel sender uh, or actually the fuel pump module at the top. It can rust out and uh, start leaking there. Um, the fill pipe assembly, uh, let me grab a light. Um, you want to definitely check the integrity of all your lines along the EVAP system. Um, then you got the purge valve up front and uh, particular attention you need to pay uh, to the canister area. So this is your EVAP canister and uh, this is the vapor purge canister next to it. Um, and then in front of it here we have the NVLD natural vacuum leak detection pump. Uh, like I said, this, this unit uh, verifies the integrity of the EVAP system and will uh, let the computer know if there's any leakage at all. So here's what you need to check first off. Uh, the most common problem we've seen is a rotted out hose. And this hose leads from the, let me get a better view here. There's a little better view. There's the NVLD um, with a couple uh, vapor hoses that connect and a wiring connector along here. In this case, it's right behind the transfer case on a four-wheel drive, um, just behind this cross member here. Um, and then pay special attention to these hoses. They're prone to cracking and whatnot. I suppose it depends on the area of the country that you're in, um, but uh, it's definitely worth a look if you're having issues. So here's what you do. Take a mirror and uh, put it just over top and you can see the vacuum hose um, on, the, uh, on the top of the canister. Let me try to get a better view. And here we go. You see where it's rotted and cracked all the way through. Super common source of leaks right there. This is the number one cause of a PO442 or a PO456 on this truck. This is the first place you want to look. So it's just above the charcoal canister. And it's the hose connecting the NVLD to the charcoal canister. Here's the part for this truck. You always want to use the VIN code, call the dealer, give them the VIN, and they'll hook you up with the right part. Um, 
sure. I think this is the part number here. Chrysler parts. You never know. Oh, here's the part number here, I think. The 52102793 Alpha Alpha. So basically in this case, it's just a matter of uh, popping this hose off of both ends. There's a little clamp on the NVLD uh, that you need to loosen to remove that end. And just replace the hose and clear the codes and this thing's gonna be good to go. Now, you know, of course we always suggest that you, uh, you know, use a smoke machine and, um, and pressure test the EVAP system and then run a service bay test after you're done if you got the scan tool to do that. But um, I'm making this video for, you know, common DIY guys that may not have access to all that stuff. And this is a great place to go and look. Um, you know, if that doesn't do it and your, the integrity of your system is good, then uh, the, the most likely problem will be that NVLD. I think the valve is about 60 bucks from the dealer. And, uh, and that's pretty easy to replace as well. So something else to think about. Uh, along with, you know, all the, all the lines, the steel lines running to the front, purge valve and whatnot. Um, so anyway, I hope this video has been helpful. Really appreciate the subscriptions and uh, everyone watching the channel. And I uh, wish you good luck with your repairs. Take care.